Greetings, friends! How are you? As you know, an update came out yesterday, and with this update, we saw a lot of changes in the game. The first day was more tiring than I expected, but today we are going to do some great things for you. Egg openings, boss battles, wheel spinning, and everything you need for progression. I only have one request for you. Before we get to the video, can you follow the channel and turn on notifications? I say thank you and I'm going to go to the video. The first thing I plan to do today is to open an egg. But we're too far behind as winners to open eggs. So I'm going to grind quickly to the strongest boss. Yesterday I didn't have the strength to fight the last boss, but today I'm quite strong for him. So let's move on to our challenge. I will save you from these boring moments, friends. Let's quickly go to the part where we are rich. 50 QT win will give us enough eggs to open. I go to the eggs to hatch them, but there's one thing I mustn't forget. To press all the potions before opening the eggs here? Don't forget. I forget. At least you don't. I have a game pass that opens 8 eggs at the same time, so don't worry this part will be short. I don't know if there will be a surprise pet, but the rate of 2 pets, especially in the bottom row, is extremely low. When I say low, the probability of OP pets coming in most wheels is higher. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's get down to business and complete the egg opening. As you can see, I saved up wind to open it for a long time, but it ran out quickly. It is not really profitable to open eggs from here. But let's take a look at the pets we got. We have a lot of pets. First, they will become big pets. Then they will become huge pets. Then our empowerment journey begins. I was going to teleport to Space Gym, but I don't have any pets to make gold. So I'm going to see if I can void my pets in Beach. I think there's a problem with the Void Machine. I couldn't make a golden pet anyway. Void Machine is not necessary right now. I'm going to the Bunker Region for the next stage of the power-up. I will mutate here. Obviously, I'm not selective at first. I don't have enough pets to try to get the best features. For now, we will be content with boosting. Of course, in the end, the pets I have will be the best. Our next stop will be the Space Center map. In this region, we will add slime feature to our pets. We will not be selective again. If we are selective, our job is difficult. I pass this part fast. There is nothing to tell. It's time to turn our pets into Goliath. The Goliath part is important because it takes time. You are currently seeing the stage of all pets becoming Goliath. They are really incredibly strong. We will take a look together. We go and look at our petler and the numbers are incredibly low. There's only 10 for Bandit Thief. It's unbelievable. I didn't think I'd catch it this early. It's really interesting and I can do some more. But now we have to go back to the wheel and our endless boss. Now that we're done with the pets, we're back on the wheel. And with this wheel, a lot of things are going to change. First of all, we need to make progress with the wheel. Even though we've gotten stronger, the unlucky minor boss needs to be defeated over and over again. And this will take a long time even if we don't realize it. Moreover, in order to get OP arms and items, we need 300-400 crystals per item, which means a lot of time to get tens of thousands of them, while even a fight does not end in a short time. Of course, we had to start somewhere and I started. The only thing I can say about this boss is to be patient. I may add lucky or winner winner feature to my new pets, but time will tell which one is needed. If there are enough of them, maybe even both. Enough talk. Let's move on.
I don't intend to show you too many battles. We've collected 1800 crystals, and now it's time to start spinning the wheel. My first choice is to spin the wheel 25 times. In this system, which allows for very high wheel spins, you have a very high chance of missing the items that come out when you spin. Although I don't have a very big expectation, I tried my luck without using a lucky item. It doesn't make much difference when I use it. Next time I'll do a 10 wheel spin. I don't expect much. I thought the wheel had nothing to give anyway, but I see that it gives arms. Maybe we can combine the arms and see how strong it is. The next one I'm going to do a 25 spin to see if I can find a tactic. I have to try these tactics. I might even make a video about which number of spins will give you more chances if I can accumulate a lot of them. If you want this, you can write in the comments. After this part, I accelerated because I need to open with tens and there is a process that continues with singles. Let's skip this part and move on to the part where we strengthen the arms. The next target is Roman Empire. Yes, friends, we are here to join arms. It won't be difficult, it's just a matter of time. We also combined the arms, and we can say that we have a better arm than the 4th of July event in terms of power. I don't know if I can use a better arm than the buff Kraken arm. Now that this is over, it's time to go back to Earth-12. We have a lot of options. We can keep acquiring crystals, we can keep fighting to crack eggs, or we can just keep getting stronger. Well, friends, I'll leave it to you to guess which one I'll choose, and I'll end the video here. Thank you for watching. See you in tomorrow's video.